Hey everybody, this is Deirdre Cox, President of Community Sustainability Enterprise, also known as CSE. And we're coming to you, Spark and United Way, with an opportunity that we believe is going to create long-term, sustainable, resilient STEM professionals in the workplace. We've had an opportunity to partner with UPS along with Central Gwinnett High School and a couple of other high schools here in Gwinnett County to help UPS grow their next generation STEM population. They're looking to us to bring them minority students who are interested in STEM and UPS wants to work with us to follow these students to expose them, to give them access and experience in STEM related careers. And they're interested in following our students all the way through college matriculation. So we're asking that SPARC consider CSE and, and this partnership between UPS and a Gwinnett County Public Schools, which in this particular instance will more than likely be Central Gwinnett, Meadow Creek High School, and South Gwinnett High Schools. But we're asking for your support so that we can engage our students in field trips. We can engage our students in opportunities for internships. And these kids can literally walk the path from high school into a career in STEM. I think as, a, as an educator from a school perspective, uh, these public-private partnerships, particularly with UPS, focusing on these STEM-oriented positions, uh, is really beneficial for our students because it shows them an aspect of STEM that they're not normally considering. They don't understand that necessarily there's other companies who have STEM-related careers within you know, their organization. Um, and also to provide that kind of mentorship where people who are in those careers can actually walk these kids through the steps that they need to take to pursue those careers. It, it's well, we learned it, it, was a great, it was a great opportunity. Essentially, we learned that uh, teamwork is key. Well, I learned that in anything that we do, there are trade-offs. So our team might have had the cheapest uh, solution, but it took the longest to put together. And we did a lot of arguing and there was a lot of back and forth. So that really gives me an idea of what goes on at UPS Corporate. With that, I learned that you have to apply, you have to take consider all aspects of the problem when you're trying to find a solution. Uh, well, I think that overall the experience was um, you know, very rewarding. Uh, we got a chance to kind of see what the kids are capable of making, um, how they can utilize what they're given, and pretty much make it into a very you know close competition and you know there was no broken eggs by the way i'm anthony dandridge and i am on a dev team um, i run a dev team so um, i think i would know a little bit about what it would take for to, to create a successful dev team and honestly speaking i'm not just saying this because you guys are in front of me um i would honestly hire everybody on that was in my team um, these guys. I thought it was very, very beneficial. The, the kids were so, so excited and just ready to get their hands like dirty with the project. They just wanted to start building. Um, they asked really, really relative and relevant questions and, and just that excitement. Um, I didn't know if I was going to see that today, but I did. They were just really, really pumped to be here. Other things I saw from the kids is, I don't know if you realize it, but you have some natural leaders. Mm -hmm. And they stepped up and they showed it, and it, it yeah. jumped out right away, uh -huh. um, right away. And they, some of them just kind of jumped in, and it was like, oh, you can work here now. Like, you know? Primarily, it gives the students an opportunity to work with a group of students yeah. they don't normally get to work with. And it gives them an opportunity to truly problem solve without knowing ahead of time what's going on when they walk in the door. So it hits a lot of soft skill pieces for us, as well as it gives the kids an opportunity to shine and see what they're able to do. Awesome. Thank you, Dr. William. Uh, being here um, is different so that they can really see um, the employees and be able to talk to them and get the stories. It's better than us telling them those stories um, secondhand so they really get a chance to um, see the facility, see what these um, employees are doing. The employees are telling them their stories about how they got here. Um, and it's just more meaningful than hearing it from your teacher. That it's amazing that the kids are actually getting to see what I used to see when I was in private sector, learn the different roles and how they function together. That's just remarkable. And that's something I'm going to take back to my classroom. Awesome. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. I'm Dr. Rhonda Anderson, partner with Community Sustainability Enterprise. Now that you've seen all the benefits that public-private partnerships bring for our high school students, we're asking Spark that you consider funding Community Sustainability Enterprise as we assist UPS with helping them to develop their IT minority workforce of tomorrow.